If you're looking to enhance your videos with impressive transitions, LUTs, and light leaks, then you need to check out the Visual VFX All-in-One Bundle. This pack is known for its quality and its affordable price, making it an excellent option for those who are looking to give their videos a professional touch without spending a lot of money. Visual VFX has contacted me to review a pack with a lot of effects, so let's get started. In my timeline, I have a video recorded with GoPro. It could be the typical video that you record during a vacation. We're going to apply a couple of transitions to make it more striking. Adding transitions to the video is super easy. The first thing we have to do is go to the effects panel, display the toolbox menu and click on the section video transitions. Here you will find all the installed transitions of visual VFX. If you scroll down, we can see that there are tons of transitions. If you ask me, I would even tell you that there are too many. Okay, the transition I want is a zoom transition. To zoom into the snowboard, I'm going to look for the transition called Zoom Hit. If we hover over the transition, we can see a preview of how it will look in our video. Great, now I just click on the transition I want and add it between the two video clips right here. Perfect, I already have the transition applied. Now, to make sure that the transition looks smooth when playing the video, we're going to activate the Render Cache function in the Playback tab. We will select the Smart option so that DaVinci Resolve automatically takes care of rendering the transition. If we have Render Cache activated, when this bar is blue, we can visualize the transition smoothly. Let's see the transition. Perfect. Many transitions can be customized. For example, in the zoom transitions, we can choose exactly in which area we want it to zoom. To customize the transition, we can click on it in the timeline and go to the inspector panel. Here, we will find the target function, which allows us to choose in which area of the video we want it to zoom. In this case, I want it to zoom to the snowboard. So I'm going to move the X axis and the Y axis to place the crosshair just above the snowboard. Now, if we play the video, we can see that the transition has been much better. Let's go with the last transition. Okay, for this part of the video, I'm going to use the transition spin. I think it will work well. We click on the transition and add it between the two clips. Perfect, we already have the transition done. In case you're not convinced, we can try another one. I'm going to try a camera shake transition. This one here could look good. I select the transition and add it between the two video clips. We see that the camera movement is very exaggerated for this particular video. There's no problem. Since we can fully configure the transition, we can solve it. We just have to select the transition in the timeline and then go to the transition menu inside the inspector panel. I'm going to lower all the camera movement parameters so that the transition isn't so exaggerated. Let's go down one by one and finished. Remember that there are many more transitions available in the Visual VFX pack, and you can customize them to fit your needs. Have fun experimenting with different transitions and effects to bring your videos to life. If you're looking to enhance your videos with transitions, LUTs, and lighting effects, then the all-in-one bundle is a great option. Its great quality and price make it one of the best options for DaVinci Resolve. And best of all, the license is for life. You can use it as many times as you want and for any job. But in case you're only interested in the transitions, they also sell a pack with all the transitions, or you can buy individual transitions packs at a super low price. They have packs for only $15 to $20. You have the link to the Visual VFX website in the video description. In addition, I'll also leave you my discount code to get a 10% discount on all products during the first two weeks. LUTs are an essential tool for any filmmaker or videographer. LUTs can help you get the color of your videos easily and quickly. The Visual VFX LUTs and many other LUTs work in a Rec.709 color space. Before applying a LUT, it's important to set the color space correctly. 
Many people think that applying a LUT to any video by magic will apply it correctly. Before applying a LUT, you must configure the color space. Changing the color space of a video in DaVinci Resolve is quite easy. Follow these steps. Look for the option Color Space Transform. Click and drag it to the first node. Perfect. In the Color Space Transform section, select the Input Color Space and the Input Gamma, according to the camera you used to record the video. In my case, I've used a Blackmagic Pocket 4K, but you can select the color space of Canon, DJI, Panasonic, Sony cameras, etc. Okay, I'm going to select Blackmagic Design Pocket 4K Film Gen 4. In the Input Gamma option, more of the same. We select the correct option according to our camera. Next, we select Output Color Space and choose Rec.709. Rec. 709 is almost always displayed with a 2.2 or 2.4 gamma. Therefore, in Output Gamma, we select Gamma 2.2 or Gamma 2.4. Now, we will have our video in Rec. 709. The next step is to have the white balance well done. In DaVinci Resolve, we can set the white balance automatically. For this, we create a new node where we're going to do the white balance. We select the node and look for some part of our video that's white. For example, this lamppost sign. Or this area behind would also work. Perfect. Let's go to the color wheels menu. And in here, we click on the white balance icon. This one. Now, we simply left click on the white color of this sign. So DaVinci Resolve will do the white balance automatically. Great, white balance done. And now we can create the last node and apply the LUT that we want. I'm going to try this LUT from the movie 21 Bridges. If we move the cursor over, we can preview the LUTs in the viewer. We select the LUT and drag it on top of the node. As we can see, now we already have the LUT applied correctly. Let's go with the final part. The Light Leaks. All in One Bundle by Visual VFX includes more than 150 light effects for your videos. For this price, they're good, but I have missed more variety and quality in the light leak effects. Using light effects in DaVinci Resolve is super simple. Drag the light leak effect onto the timeline. Just above the video clip, you want to apply the light effect. In the inspector panel, you can adjust the opacity of the light leak and change the opacity mode. For example, in composite mode, we can select add to see the light leaks correctly. But I recommend selecting the composite mode screen. Finished. You already have your light leak effect in your video. I hope this tutorial has helped you discover what the all-in-one bundle of Visual VFX offers to enhance your videos. Feel free to visit their website and explore everything they have to offer. Remember that you have a 10% discount code in the description for the first two weeks. As always, here you have the free DaVinci Resolve course so you can learn a lot of new things. See you in the next video.